Hello my student, we're gonna start a new chapter, chapter 3, AC Machinery Fundamentals. AC machines are generators that convert mechanical energy to AC electrical energy and motors that convert AC electrical energy to mechanical energy. The fundamental principle of AC machines are very simple, but unfortunately they are somewhat obscured by the by the uh, complicated construction of real machines. There are two major classes of AC machines, synchronous machines and induction machines. So we have here uh, synchronous machines and what induction machines. Synchronous machines are motors and generators whose magnetic field current is supplied by a separate DC power source. Why induction machines are motors and generators whose field current is supplied by magnetic induction transformer action into their field windings. Let's move to the next slides. Section 3.1 A simple loop in a uniform magnetic field. Figure 3.1 shows a simple machine consisting of a large stationary magnet producing an essentially constant and uniform magnetic field and a rotating loop of a wire within, within that field. The rotating part of the machine is called what is called rotor and the stationary part of the machine is called the stator. So we have two ma ma main parts of the machine, rotor and stator. We have, this is the magnet here, north, this is the thous, and uh, this, is the, this is the coil rotating throughout here magnetic, magnetic fields from north to thous, okay? Now, voltage induced in a simple rotating loop. If the rotor loop is rotated, a voltage will be induced in the wire loop to, to determine the magneti magnitude and shape. Examine the phasors below. We have to examine the phasors here, okay, to find the voltage. To determine the voltage, the total voltage induced, E total, on the loop, examine each segment of the loop separately and sum all the resulting voltages. The voltage on each segment is given by uh, these equations. E induced equal what? V, V, B, L. Velocity, magnetic, magnetic field, multiply length. So as you can see guys here, we have to examine each segment, segment AB, segment BC, and uh, we'll write the, these equations, okay, with the angle here, segment BC, the, the voltage will be zero, okay, and we can just move, uh, see the ne uh, next segment here, segment CD, uh, okay, we'll have a voltage with the sign here, theta CD then segment DA the voltage will be here uh, zero then we have to add them together all here all the voltage together to find the total total what uh, voltage 2 2 VBL sine theta since theta AB or 180 minus theta CD and sine theta is equal sine uh, 180 minus theta okay we have also this formula here uh, theta equal omega t and v equal r omega okay we can write here e induced e induced to to r omega, uh, omega b all the sine o omega t 
Finally, since since maximum flux through the loop occurs when the loop is perpendicular is perpendicular to the magnetic flux density la lines. So theta max equal a b, e induced equal a theta max omega sine omega t. Thus, the voltage generated in the loop is a sinusoidal whose magnitude is equal to the product of the flux inside the machine and the speed of, rota of rotation of the machine. This is also true of a real AC machines. In general, the voltage in any real machine will depend on three factors. The flux in the machine, the speed of rotation, a constant representing the construction uh, of the of the machine like number of loops the torque induced in a current carrying loop thus the torque induced in the loop is proportional to the strength of the loops magnetic field the strength of the external magnetic field and the sign of the angle between them this is also true of a real AC machine in general the torque in any real machine will depend on f four factors strength of the rotor magnetic field the strength of the external magnetic field the sign of the angle between them a constant representing the construction of the machine and we have this equation torque induced equal what to r i l b sine sine uh, sine omega omega t section 3.2 the rotating magnetic field if two magnetic fields are present in a machine then a torque will be created which will tend to line up the two magnetic fields if one magnetic field is produced by the stator of an AC machine and the other one is produced by the rotor of the machine then a torque will be induced in the rotor which will cause the rotor to turn and align itself with the stator magnetic field the fundamental principle of AC machine operation is that if a three phase set of currents each of equal magnitude and differing in phase by 120 follows in a three phase winding then it will produce a rotating magnetic field or of constant magnitude the three phase winding consists of three uh, separate windings space uh, 120 elliptical degree apart around the surface of the machine so as I can see here we have here this is the three uh, magnitude of the currents here I A A I double A equal I double I M sine omega T sine omega T this is the an, an, an ampere then uh, minus uh, 120 then minus what uh, 240 so each current is apart from each other by 120 degree The relationship between electrical frequency and the speed of magnetic field uh, rotation uh, figure 310 shows that the rotating magnetic field in, in this stator can be represented as a north pole where the flux leaves the stator and a south pole where the flux enters the stator. These magnetic poles complete one mechanical rotation around the stator ser service for each electrical cycle of the applied current we have this equation very important equations f equal what n m multiply p over 120 f this is this is here a frequency and this is the speed 
motor speed and this is number number of poles p number of poles reversing the direction of a magnetic field rotation if the current in any two of the three coils is swapped the direction of the magnetic fields rotation will be reversed okay so this means that it, it is possible to reverse the direction of rotation of an, of an AC motor just by switching the connections of, on any two of the three coils. Section 3.3 Magnetomotive Force and Flux Distribution on AC Machines Assumption flux produced inside an AC machine is in free space. Direction of flux density produced by a coil of wire is perpendicular to the plane of the coil. Direction of the flux given by the right hand rule. However, the flux in a real machine does not follow these assumptions since there is a, a ferromagnetic rotor in the center of the machine will with a small air gap between the rotor and the stator in this course the discussion will be restricted to the machines with a silent with silent silent cylindrical rotors to produce a sensual voltage in a machine like this, the magnitude of the flux density vector P must vary in a, a sinusoidal manner along the surface of the air gap. The flux density will vary sinusoidally, sinusoidal only if the magnetizing in density H uh, varies in a sinusoidal manner along the surface of the air gap. we have two types of, of rotor as you can see here A this is an AC machine with a cylindrical cylindrical or non-silent pool B this is an AC machine with a silent pool rotor section 3.4 induced voltage in in in, a, in AC machines, uh, previously discuss, uh, discussions were made related to induced three phase currents producing a rotating magnetic field. Now let's look into the fact that a rotating magnetic field may produce voltages in the stator. Uh, the figures below show. A, 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 rota a rotating rotor with a sensual distributed magnetic field in the, in the center of a stationary coil. The total induced voltage of the coil will be, we have this formula, induced equal in C flux omega cosine omega t. Notes that the voltage produces in a stator of the of th of the simple AC machine winding is sinusoidal with an amplitude which depends on the flux in the machine and the angular velocity omega of the rotor and a constant depending on the construction of the of the of the machine. The induced voltage in the three phase set of coils. Again here we can write for three voltages we have three phase E double A, E double B and E double C. Each divert by, by what up is apart by minus 120 and here will be minus 240 degree. Differ in phase by 120. The RMS voltage in a three phase or stator E max equal what in C flux omega EA 
a maximum equal rho 2 pi in C flux frequency. The RMS voltage at, at the terminals of the machine will depend on whether the stator is Y or delta connected. If the machine is Y connected, then the terminal voltage will be rho 3 times Ea. Okay, if we have a Y connection, like, okay, three windings here. This is Y connected. Okay. Then if we, if we have a Y connected, then the terminal voltage will will be what root three times Ea. Okay. Will be what root three Ma times what multiply multiply Ea for Y. If it is the if the machine is uh, delta connected, then the terminal voltage will just be equal Ea. Okay. For delta, if we have a delta here connection. This is uh, here delta. Three windings are connected in shape of delta. Okay. In delta, uh, the voltage will be what terminal voltage will be equal what Ea without root three. Example 3.2 Example 3.2 The following information is known about the symbol 2 Okay, symbol 2 pole generator in the figure 416 The big flux density of the rotor magnetic, uh, magnetic field is 0.2 Tesla and the mechanical rate of rotation of the shaft is 3600 revolution per minute the stator diameter of the machine is 0.5 meter its coil length is 0.3 meter and there are 15 turns per coil the machine is what y connected a what are the three phase voltages of the generator as a function of time okay so before we s solve this uh, uh, problem here we have to what to find the flux in the mesh in the machine so flux in the machine is equal what a flux equal uh, to r l b okay so we it is giving in the from the question the diameter so 2r it's mean what d d l b okay we can just uh, cancel 2r and put the diameter where d is the diameter and l the length of the coil therefore the flux of the machine is given by what so we can substitute now uh, d diameter point 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 five multiply point three this is the length multiplied uh, the magnetic flux tesla uh, we have here point two so the flux will be equal point zero three whipper. okay so the speed of the rotor is given by what we have to change the speed here because it is given in the question by revolution per minute we can just uh, divide here okay omega here we have 3600 okay we just multiply by 2 by 2 by 
over what over 60 over 60 second the answer will be what three three hundred seventy seven rod per second then we can start uh, to solve uh, part part a okay we find flux and uh, omega we change omega to rod per second okay now let's solve part uh, part part a The magnitude of peak vol uh, phase voltages are E max E max maximum is equal what in C in C flux omega which equal here number of turns we have here 15 multiply point zero three this is the flux we already calculated multiply omega already calculated uh, change to drop per second here three hundred seventy seven the voltage will be what one six nine point seven volt okay now we can write the the three three phase voltages here EAA and what here E E double B and E double double C okay will be what one six nine point point seven sine okay sine omega t so we have omega 377 t volt the unit volt the next voltage will be what the same value here 169.7 sine 377 uh, t minus now 120 volt and the third one will be what the same value here guys okay the same value only minus what minus two uh, 200 watt 40 okay this is for for uh, part a now let's see the uh, next part part b for for uh, exam example 3.2 part b what is what is the rms phase voltage of of, of this generators rms okay volt uh, phase voltage of this generator okay we know that it is it is the machine is is y connected so we can just write ea is equal what e max over what over root over root 2 169.7 over root 2 the answer will be 120 volt C what is the RMS terminal voltage of the of this generator okay terminal voltage because this is y connected so v terminal will be what 
root 3 root 3 multiply what ea okay multiply what ea rms uh, value root 3 multiply 120 volt the answer will be what 208 volt this is the solution for this example problems problems uh, we have some problems at the end at, at the end of this chapter just to try to solve problem one three one and also here we have problem three two and three 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 four and three six we will try to solve one one a problem here uh, which is here problem three the first AC power system in the USA run at frequency of 133 Hz if the if the AC power for this system were produced by a four pole generator, how fast would the shaft of the generator have to to rotate? Okay, so we'll we'll just find what speed here. So we'll use this equations here. N equal what? One hundred twenty okay 120 multiply what uh, frequency 120 n n equal what 120 multiply frequency over number of pole okay so 120 multiply what 133 over number of poles we have here from the question 4 so the speed will be what 3990 revolution per minute this is the answer and this is the end of this chapter.